Hey folks, today I want to show you this neat little waterproof digital camera that I got in. It is the Wudoli, I believe it's called. Um, 20 megapixels, dual display, dirt proof, shot proof, waterproof, up to 3 meters. Here's all the specifications on the back. I won't go over everything. It's got a digital zoom. Um, it does not have autofocus. It takes a micro SD card. Uh, file format is JPEG for the photos and AVI for the um, video files. Um, has photo effects, sepia, black and white, negative, TV out, it does not have, uh, connection is USB 2.0, takes two AAA batteries, uh, it's waterproof up to 3 meters, uh, weight is 120 grams, other than that there's not much on the box. Inside the box you will have a pouch for it which is a really nice little extra, as well as a little arm strap, hand strap, whatever you want to call it. You have the charging cable, which is also the data transfer cable. Limited warranty information in the manual. And then you have the camera. It's actually really nice. Uh, there are some water spots on it because I just tested it in the water. Um, overall, it's a nice camera. The flash is not the best. Um, it did not fill the room like my regular digital camera. But it's okay. Uh, it doesn't have autofocus, but it does have the macro switch on the side so you can switch from the regular mode to the macro it will actually move the lens forward and back if you can see that and there's the back of it you've got your zoom buttons the flash button which the flash has to charge um, it's probably five to ten seconds in between each picture to charge the flash up your review button, your mode, and your menu button on the top. You have the button that will change the display from the back to the front, the power button, and the shutter button. So to turn it on, press and hold. And now we are using the back display to switch to the front. You press this button on top, and it switches to the front display. Great for selfies. So we're going to switch back to the back and up in the top left, I don't know, okay there it goes, my camera will focus uh, it shows that you are taking photos, to change that you press the M button and now it shows that you'll be taking video and here is what this little switch on the side does you can see the table is kind of blurry if you switch it to macro it gets clear you can see it better in actual photos and I'll, I'll put some of those photos in here um, but here's the uh, digital zoom it's rather blurry and unfortunately but it's because it's not optical zoom it's digital so don't expect it to be that great as far as the menu goes you have uh, resolution settings quality settings metering white balance ISO exposure self timer sharpness your effects date stamp and quick view and then if we go over you have your sound, on or off, light fr frequency, power saver, language, date and time, format the SD card, reset all, and the version. Pretty simple when it comes to the menu. Uh, one thing I will say, the camera is really good at changing and auto uh, light balancing, I guess you would say. When I go from a dark room to the light outside or a window, it, um, it adjusts really well. Um, overall, I can't really complain. It's a pretty good camera. And I'll show you what I mean about the flash. You gotta press the flash and see when it blinks, it's charging the flash. Now it's ready. And now you can take a photo. You cannot use the flash when you are in macro mode, it automatically shuts the flash off. But then you can turn it back on. Um, underneath the bottom, I'm going to turn it off, press and hold the power button. Underneath the bottom, the door is kind of tricky to get into, you have to use two fingers. One to pull down on the lock right there, and the other to slide it out this way. And inside, your door slides by the way, Let's see, you have to slide it all the way up. It has a rubber seal right here 
so your SD card that's in there as well as your batteries are protected from the water. I put this camera in my sink with water for a few minutes and I have water on the outside around the plastic but I did not have water where the rubber gasket is so it is waterproof. Inside there you can see where your uh, USB connection is and your micro SD card and you have two batteries, two AAA batteries. All you do is close it back up and slide it into place. You have a tripod um, mount right there and I'm not exactly sure what this port is. It's not really a port, it might be the microphone, I'm guessing, because I don't see an, another hole in here for a micro microphone. Uh, your arm strap, hand strap, whatever you want to call it, will go in right there. Like I said, overall really nice camera though. I can't complain too much. Just no autofocus, no flash when you use macro settings. The videos are a little bit on the grainy side. The photos turn out pretty nicely unless you blow them up and view the full resolution. Uh, they're they're on the grainy side too, but uh, overall not too bad. <laughs> so there you go. I hope that I have helped you all in your decision making process when it comes to this camera. Y'all have a great day. drive-in theater. Alright, so we are going to take a dive underwater. This makes me nervous. And I'm sure if you can take this thing into the ocean, soap won't hurt it either if it's waterproof. There we go.